Oh yeah guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while probably since I've actually done like a video, but we've got quite the project we're working on now. So if you look over here, I took off our 52 inch mowing deck off our 2017 Toro Grandstand. And then if you look over here, we've got the Grandstand right on the left. So had to take the bucket off the front. I've got the, um, the trash bag, the trash can holder that I made on here. So I had to take the bucket off so this gets up down. Um, so I had to take the battery off and I had to take the exhaust cover off and the exhaust and the clutch and the pulley on the clutch and the belt came off pretty fairly easily. And then I had to take off the wiring to the engine which wasn't too bad but then it's just a lot of work and then but easy enough it's four bolts on the bottom of the engine here there and there but look at this big oil leak right here i'll show you the leak, leak on the engine in a minute so you do got to remember when you plug it in it's got the this harness here this goes into like the regulator on the um positive it is red wire and then we've got the black which goes on with the negative on the um on this other part that's on there but don't put those together when you're putting the thing back together that's why i don't you know that's why the first thing i did was take the battery off so i went short something in the in the electrical because that would make it even worse and so there's the leak and then there's the tires so on the lift so on my so on the 60 inch the frame is just a little bit bigger and these on my 60 inch the handles go down farther and so normally this would be right on here on the on that but this mower is shorter so to fit it on the lift i had to put it there because there's these two bumps here and then on my other mower see it's got it doesn't it's not this one is bigger but it's not in the way of putting it here. And then also the wheel is in the way of here for the board. So it's a little bit different for the two mowers I got. So there's the tires, battery, exhaust cover, clutch, and then the pulley for the clutch. And then, uh, yeah, on my 60 inch, it doesn't have the skid plates on it. So I'm able just to, you know, put the caster pad right here and it's pretty safe but there wasn't enough room here so it's like half an inch so it was kind of iffy and so we have it on these blocks of wood which is kind of still sketchy but luckily we're not doing too much with that so <laughs> this is the air um filter that i had to take off i did drain the oil funny thing i should uh my, i told my dad i probably should have drained the oil first but Ended up draining the oil because when we want to flip the engine, we don't want to, you know, go into places we don't in the engine. So I decided to do that. And so when we flip it over, hopefully it won't destroy the engine too much. There's the exhaust. And then this, this is the port for the air filter. And this is, um, so this is where it first started leaking. It's kind of been leaking all summer. I didn't really bother about it because it wasn't leaking enough oil to kill customers' lawns or losing a lot of oil because i was chucking the oil pretty f um often and so the first thing was it was leaking above the oil filter and uh, or under the oil filter and you can kind of see right here these are kind of damp here right so that's interesting and then like the bottom down there is a little damp and so that oil filter around is kind of still damp and then definitely it's like collected some dirt down there but if you look here, if I rotate the drain plug or do this, that looks like, or yeah, see, cause you were seeing oil come out, especially when there was oil in the engine, there's not oil in the engine, but that doesn't seem right right there. So it definitely looked like it was leaking there, but doesn't explain why it was leaking in the back. So we're kind of thinking, I don't got, nope. Don't call a light. Sorry, guys. Um, we're thinking it's the pan or the bottom of the engine's got a gasket for the oil. It's not an oil pan, but it's the bottom of the engine. I guess that's what they call it on these things. But I would call it an oil pan. But it's the gasket on the bottom of the engine that 
hold the two halves together, which is right here. You can kind of see it sticking out. With my dad's thinking maybe this engine had work and they use the same seal or it's just, it could just be a seal that is failing, but we didn't think it was a seal because normally when a seal leaks, it's not around the whole engine, but that still, if it's a seal, it's leaking on that side, but that wouldn't make it leak right there on that. But how would it be leaking up here? But then the case half is up there. So it could just be leaking. We don't really know. We're going to take the bottom of the thing, check it. We'll probably replace it since we're in there. We might as well. And it's huh, probably kind of expensive not to do it. So and I just want this mower to work and get this thing back up and running because luckily it's December almost. So we're not mowing. It's about to snow soon, hopefully. I got the snow plows all attached and stuff, but oh, I really want this to be a summer project. But then my dad was like, oh, you got customers to do in the summer. But this is our backup mower, you know? But it's probably good to have our mower up and running. And if I want to sell this in the summer, I can sell it or in the spring because I don't really use this one very often and stuff, but it's nice to have a backup mower. But this was my very first lawnmower and so i kind of have a little connection to it because it's my nicest mower but right now it's broken because it's leaking a ton of oil but not a ton it never puddled but it was leaking all summer but never puddled on the ground it just was it would um go on the deck you can see right here you can see right here on the deck but it's kind of yeah God, look at that oh, gosh i can't there we go Oh, it's not too bad on that spindle. But then it started leaking here on that part. That's because I was kind of a downhill grade or whatever, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this on other people's mowers because I've been researching this just a little bit. And it runs down this tube frame and you can kind of see it started leaking here because I didn't wipe, I did wipe it off, but looks like it's still a little bit I uh, probably didn't wipe that off, but that spot. But yeah, it leaks down the frame only on the one side. It's not really leaking down on the other side, but uh, yeah. So I'll probably document this just uh, for my purposes. And you can guys try to help me with my grandstand problems. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll do an update video soon, you know, see. I'll probably take some photos and I'll post those so you can guys see them. And uh, so this is my project. So yeah.